Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about attenuation coefficients of x-rays when they interact with matter. Now, imagine that we have some x-rays that are approaching material, their intensity, the power transmitted per unit area, will be decreasing as they go through that material. That will depend on two things. Number one will be the initial intensity. So obviously if our in initial intensity is much higher, then our final intensity will also be higher. And this is this term of the equation. Should we just uh, write down what term um, is what? So I not in this equation is our initial intensity. And I is our final intensity. Now, the intensity decreases exponentially when we are going through a material. And this is dependent on what is known as the attenuation coefficient, uh, which is this term of the equation here. It can also be known as the absorption coefficient of that substance. For instance, bone is a better absorber of x-rays than, uh, than soft tissue, so bone has a larger value of the attenuation coefficient than soft tissue. So let's write this down over here. This term is the attenuation can also be known as the absorption coefficient. X in this um, equation is simply the thickness of the substance. So this over here is the thickness of the substance. In terms of units, um, remember, I, or intensity in general, it's the power transmitted per unit area. So this will typically be given in watts per meter squared, although it could also be given in kilowatts or any other variation with a prefix. I0, uh, of course, is, uh, is exactly the same, so it's going to have the same unit. Now, the exponential overall shouldn't have any units. We know that from mathematics. And the unit of, uh, of mu, this, uh, this Greek letter is known as mu. The SI unit is meters to a power of minus one. Should I just uh, write this down maybe in a different color just to separate things? So mu, the attenuation coefficient, has units of uh, meters to a power of minus one. And the thickness has units of meters. So overall the units here cancel out. Notice that mu can also be given in let's say centimeters to the power of minus one or millimeters to the power of minus one and if that's the case that is fine however we need to make sure that our thickness is in the same units so for instance our thickness would then be in centimeters or in millimeters. Now, quite often in problems in physics, we need to rearrange this equation for the thickness, or maybe we need to find the absorption coefficient in a question. So let's just practice rearranging this. The equation, as we said, is equal to i times uh, i is equal to i naught times e to the minus mu x. Now, a first step for re in rearranging for the thickness would be to simply isolate the exponential. So all this means is that we're going to put the exponential, so that's going to be this term here on one side of the equation. Okay, well, this means that i over i naught will be equal to e to the minus mu times x. Now, we can remove the exponential by taking the natural log of both sides. So what we're going to do is do ln of i over i naught. I'm just putting some brackets and that's going to be equal to the ln of e to the minus mu x. Now remember the natural log in the exponential are inverse functions. So if we do ln of e to anything, what we're going to get is the actual exponent. So ln of i over i naught will actually be equal to minus mu x. Now what we're going to do then is just multiply both sides of the equation by minus 1. Remember the logarithms 
by the rules of uh, log addition and subtraction, uh, they're actually going to flip. So um, what we're going to do is um, multiply everything by minus 1. So it's going to turn this side of the logarithm as i naught over i, and uh, this will be equal to mu x. And our final step will be to simply rearrange for x. So x will be equal to ln of i naught divided by i, and uh, this will be divided by the absorption coefficient. Let's have a go at one more question, which is very, very typical. The absorption coefficient of bone is 0 0.6 centimeters to the power of minus 1. Calculate the thickness of bone required to reduce the intensity of the x-rays by a factor of a half. And this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt this question. So let's have a look at the solution. As we know, our starting equation is that i is equal to i naught e to the minus mu x. As always, we're going to put the exponential on one side. So we're going to get e to the minus uh, mu x is going to equal to i uh, divided by i naught. Take the ln of both sides, just as we did. And that's going to cancel out the e. So I'm just going to skip a step because we've just done that. So minus mu x will be equal to the natural log of i over i naught. Uh, once again, I'm going to take the um, negative of both sides of the equation. So what I'm left with is that mu x will be equal to, now the negative ln is going to flip. So what we're going to get is ln of i naught divided by i. And finally, we're going to get that x Notice that I'm rederiving everything just for, for practice because this is a very important derivation. So x will be equal to the natural log of i naught divided by i divided by my thickness as by my absorption coefficient mu. Okay, now because we want to reduce the um, intensity by a factor of a half, I naught is our in initial intens intensity, I is our final intensity, so they're going to be in a, in a ratio of 2 to 1 if it is reduced by a half. So what we're really doing is saying that x will be equal to the ln of 2 divided by our absorption coefficient, which in this case it's 0 0.6 centimeters. Now if I put in 0 0.6 here, I'm going to get my result in centimeters, and there's no unit that's required in particular for this question, so I'm going to give my thickness in centimeters. So putting this into a scientific calculator, the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.6, we are going to get 1.15 centimeters as our final answer. So after 1.15 centimeters, the intensity of x-rays when they go through bone are going to decrease by a factor of a half. Okay folks, well hopefully this video was useful. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next medical physics video.